The Defense Research and Development Organization is the research and development wing of the Ministry of Defense, Government of India. The DRDO was set up with a vision to empower India with cutting-edge defense technologies and a mission to achieve self-reliance in critical defense technologies and systems while equipping our armed forces with state-of-the-art weapon systems and equipments in accordance with the requirements laid down by all the three services. The work done by DRDO becomes a lot more important as India is surrounded on multiple fronts by enemy nation states like China and Pakistan. DRTO's pursuit of self-reliance and successful indigenous development and production of strategic systems and platforms such as Agni and Prithvi series of missiles, LCA or light combat aircraft, Tejas, multi-barrel rocket launcher, Pinaka, air defense system, Akash, a wide range of radars and electronic warfare systems, etc., have given a quantum jump to India's military might, generating effective deterrence and providing crucial leverage needed against enemy states. Balasya Moolam Vigyanam, source of strength is science, drives the nation in peace and war. DRDO is firmly determined to make the nation stronger and self-reliant in terms of science and technology, especially in the field of military technologies. The DRDO was formed in 1958 from the amalgamation of the then already functioning TDE or Technical Development Establishments of the Indian Army and the Directorate of Technical Development and Production that is the DTDP with the Defense Science Organization that is the DSO. DRDO was then a small organization with merely 10 establishments or laboratories. Over the years, it has grown multi-directionally in terms of the variety of subject disciplines, number of laboratories, achievements and stature which we will elaborate now. Today, DRDO is a network of more than 50 laboratories which are deeply engaged in developing defense technologies covering various disciplines. Disciplines like aeronautics, armaments, electronics, combat vehicles, engineering systems, instrumentation, missiles and even advanced computing and simulation, special materials, naval systems, life sciences, training, information systems and even agriculture. Several major projects for the development of missiles, armaments, light combat aircraft, radars, electronic warfare systems, etc. are on hand and significant achievements have already been made in several such technologies and research areas. The DRDO or the Defense Research and Development Organization proudly showcased some of its state-of-the-art defense systems during the 76th Republic Day Parade on 26th of January 2023. The focus of this grand showcase was on surveillance, communication and the methods to neutralize enemy threats. The DRDO has showcased one tableau and one key equipment during the grand event. The theme of the tableau is securing nation with effective surveillance, communication and neutralizing threats. The tableau of the DRDO was divided into four parts, each part showcasing different types of defense system. The first part of the tableau displayed what is known as the underwater surveillance platforms. These include sonars that have been developed for submarines, ships and helicopter launch surveillance. The sonars on display will include OSHU's 2 systems for submarines and the HAMSA series of sonars for ships as well as the low frequency dunking sonar for helicopter launch surveillance program. The second part of the tableau had land surveillance, communication and neutralizing platforms. These include the D4 counter drone systems which can perform real-time search, detection, tracking and even neutralize targets. Additionally, the much revered QRSAM or the Quick Reaction Surface to Air Missile Weapon System BMFR or the Battery Multifunction Radar as well as the MLV that is the missile launcher vehicle were also on display. The QRSAM or the Quick Reaction Surface to Air Missile Weapon System is an all-weather air defense system that provides mobile air defense cover to mechanized assets of the Indian Army in the tactical battle areas. 
third part of the tableau showcased aerial surveillance and communication platforms such as the A E W and C that is the airborne early warning and control system and the Tapas B H medium altitude long distance endurance UAVs or what is known as the tactical advanced platform for aerial surveillance beyond horizon 201 systems the A E W and C or the airborne early warning and control system is a force multiplier with surveillance communication and electronic warfare capabilities tapas bh is drdo solution to the tri services intelligence surveillance target acquisition tracking and reconnaissance that is the star or ISTAR requirement the fourth and final part of the tableau depicted depicted DRDO's research activities showcasing a semiconductor research and development facility and futuristic technologies in the field of semiconductors detectors and next gen sensors in addition to the tableau DRDO also proudly displayed an actual equipment the wheeled armored platform a modular 8x8 wheeled combat platform this vehicle can be customized for various roles such as a wheeled infantry combat vehicle that is the CBRN vehicle ATGM carrier and a light tank the armored personal carrier variant on display was integrated with a 30 mm turret composite armor and innovative blast protection it is also amphibious and can travel at a speed of nearly 100 kilometers per hour on road Other DRDO developed systems were also displayed by the armed forces contingents during the parade. These systems included the Arjun MBT, the Nag Nag missile system, the Brahmos missile, short span bridge and Akash NG. The DRDO developed AEWNC also made a fly past during the parade.